Good evening, class. How are you today? Welcome. Miss Sandra Leticia, welcome. Miss Celia Cristina, Marina Yancy, Concepción, Josué, Mr. Tony, Claudia Maria, and Pablo. Hi, good evening. Dear listener, good evening. Welcome, good welcome. Good evening. Okay, so listen class, I was checking the platform and some of you are still owing me some activities. For example, let me see if there is here. Okay, Darío. Stephanie Carranza. And let me see. No, she's not here, Carla Sofia. But let me see, okay, Wales, let me double check, Luis Miguel, not yet, Nelson, are you here? Not yet, okay, Nelson, I need you to continue work, ah. He's joining right now. Nelson, if you listen to me, I need you to continue working in the homeworks in unit three, okay? Section three. Carla Sofia, the same for you. Okay. Hi. Hi, you need to finish your activities in section three, okay? Okay. Okay, yeah, because remember next week, next Tuesday, the class is going to be over. And by that day, everything must be done. Para el día martes, todo debe estar terminado, okay? Para todos. Sí. Y recuerden que en esta última semana que iniciamos ahora, esta última sección, you have a final test. But there are some others who are great because they have... Uh, they have done everything, even the final test. So congratulations. Okay, class, it is exactly the time to get started. Welcome everyone. I am so glad that all of you are here. You have been learning during this week idioms and phrasal verbs, okay? So you have increased your vocabulary too, okay? To sound more, more professional, okay? In a more advanced level because you don't say uh, to be forgotten. What do you say? Do you remember the, the idiom that you were practicing yesterday? Mm. Okay, we're going to recall it today. Norma, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, Miss. Thank you for being here. Okay, class, here we go. I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you. And here we go. Okay. I appreciate that all of you are here, class. Remember that every second counts in your attendance for the platform. Okay. And also, if you are as a listener, join the groups as a listener because if you stay here the platform doesn't count the minutes that you stay here in the main session room because you are supposed to be in uh, one group okay so that is my advice to you so class here today is november 23rd 2022 and here we go okay so here today is our video conference number 16, four more classes and the course is over and you're going to be in module six, congrats. So class here we have in our agenda greetings as every day, we're going to have a feedback as I told you, we're going to read the objectives in the task, the highlight for the pre-task, preparation task and the task you are going to be telling about policies in my workplace, policies, not polices, no, policies, las políticas in my workplace, the policies, policies in my workplace, okay? Then 
Again, a reminder, I tell you every day, you have to finish. You have to complete your assignments in the platform. And remember, again, that for this last week, you have a final test to take, okay? Some of you have already taken it. You have, uh, some of you have everything, 100%, okay? I'm not going to say the names, but there are some. So your full name, in case that you are listeners, you need to add the word listener. Camera on or through the session is what it is supposed to be. The sound of, unless you are told not to do so, an active participation as every day, okay? The attendance again, you receive, okay, an alert from the administration about the attendance. And remember 120 minutes, if you have any problem with the connectivity, as soon as possible, get back. And you know that the attendance is taken twice during the session and you have to say, here I am present and activate your camera. And at the end, one of you is going to stay with the teacher to uh, have a one-on-one -on -one session to clarify something or to practice something, okay? Again, in Zoom, this is the expectation, yeah? Everybody with the cameras on. The chats are available via Zoom and via WhatsApp. And the Ask for Help button in the breakout rooms is available. And as every day, I ask you to be respectful with everybody in class, okay? because that is really important. And we are here, today is 23rd, so we are in week number four. And here you have to work in the platform in section four and in the final exam. Is that okay? Questions or comments so far? No? Okay. Here we go. And we have the objectives. I need a volunteer to help me reading the, you know, the general objective, who's going to be that participant today. You should be saying, me, teacher, me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Great. Okay. Okay, Nelson. Uh, general objective. Participants will develop competencies that will allow them to mark steps in a progress and as an answer question to check that my maintenance, maintenance <laughs> Procedures are made in face-to-face -face and telephone conversation with others in work situation. Thank you so much. Very well done. Now the specific objective. One volunteer to read it. Uh, Stephanie, teacher. Okay, Stephanie, please. A specific, a specific objective. Participant will, will be able to tell about police in my workplace. Great, excellent. Now, who is going to read the class objective? Thank you, Claudia Maria. By the end of this class, participants will be able to use should and shouldn't. Okay, that's why I told you, you should be offering teacher. I want to read because it is almost the end of the course because we're going to use should, okay? And it shouldn't today. Now this is the feedback, yeah? The feedback of the topic yesterday. If you remember class, we were reading these steps, okay? In order to organize a preventive maintenance plan. And you were identifying if these statements from one to five were true or false based on the three steps that were here in the reading, yeah? Okay, so uh, we have three paragraphs. I'm going to ask Tony is driving home, he is commuting or driving to work, I don't know, but he's, yes, you know, I commuting. Drive. Okay, so paragraph number one goes to, let me see, maybe paragraph two goes to, hmm, 
Miss Claudia, would you like to help us reading uh, step number one? Yes. Okay. Step number two, maybe Atilio, would you like to? Yes. Okay, number two. And step number three, Miss Carla. Step number three is for you, Miss Carla, okay? Here we okay. go. I'm going to share the manual with you so you can see it better. We here, where is it, where is it? Okay, here, because I have too many. Yes, this is the one, okay? So here we go. <clears throat> number one, step number one, please. Step one, get the right people on board before you begin to organize to preventing maintenance plan. You need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understands the way your systems operate. This could include people from data processing. And counting, and counting craftsmen and members of production and production control. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it is important to have them on board and keep up to date so you can get important feedbacks as you go. Step two, set goal, your, set goal for your preventing maintenance play. Using your task force input, set goal you hope to achieve using system. Beijing training your task force on the component skill they need when your prevent maintenance plays go into full effect. And step three, inventory the key equipment and assets. Go through your facility and inventory all the key equipment you're considering, including in your preventive maintenance plan, tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Re record the following as you go and keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry up and organize with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. Thank you so much, class. Great. So listen, we have step one, get the right people on board. Step number two, set goals for your preventing maintenance plan. And step three, inventory the equipment and assets, okay? Because everything counts in, in, in a company, okay? Everything means money. Your desk, your laptop, okay? The water fountain, yeah? The coffee station, everything is money. So those are the assets that you need to, um, consider in the inventory. And also we were working with idioms part two. The ones that we were working with yesterday were wiped out to have a lot on one's plate, to settle down, hang in there, to keep one's head above water, to scale back one's hours, stressed out, sleep one's mind, yeah? Okay, and you have the definition. And here you were building some sentences, if you remember, and write a short paragraph about common issues with machinery at your workplace. This was the activity that you began to work with yesterday, but because of time, we didn't go to the final part. So now class, some of you ask me, teacher, yes, but please in the same groups. I don't know if you remember. Do you remember your partners? The ones you were working with? I remember. Yes. Yeah, you remember. I remember. Okay, because- With Tony. 
Okay. Wendy okay. okay. And... Josue. Okay. Josue, yes. Listen. By now, I'm going to. Okay, here. Let's see. For... I will return when Atilio and Nelly. Okay, listen. I'm going to ask the platform the following. Let participants choose the room. I have uh, asked the platform to create five rooms. So you look for your partners in the different rooms, yes? But wait, so here we go. <clears throat> there are five groups. For example, Celia's group, your partners need to join that group, okay? And let's see, so, uh, Carla, Sofia, do you remember your partners? One or two partners? With me, uh, Claudia, uh -huh. and Norma, Concepcion, Nelson. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it works. I'm going to ask uh, Nelly, hello, welcome. Okay, so you join the different groups. Here we go. Okay, room one, I'm going to assign it over here. So in group number one, let's see, Celia Cristina, who else? Celia, tell me the names of your partner. Tony. Okay, Tony. Juan Antonio, Juan Antonio. Okay, Wendy Tony. Maricela Ramirez. Okay. And Josué García. Josué. Is mm -hmm. Okay, over here, there. Yeah, great. Now in group number two. Uh, yes, Miss uh, Claudia, your partners? Or Carla? Carla, your partners? Carla Concepción. Okay, Carla, Concepción, who else? Atilio. Atilio. Nelson. Nelson. Only three. Norma también. And Norma. Okay, great. You are uh, group number two. Now in group number three, Atilio, your partners? With Miguel and Nelly Lilibet. Only. Luis Miguel and Nelly Lilibet. Very well. In and Sandra. Group... Okay, uh, hold and it. And Sandra, and Sandra. And, okay. Okay, so the next group. Es que teníamos a varios, pero estaban and, oyendo. No, but you just tell me the ones, okay? Who were participating. Uh, Claudia Maria. And uh, I have many people over here, but mm, in group two, number two. Uh -huh, tell me. Concepción, Carla, Nelson, Norma. Yeah, that's it. Now mm -hmm. um, I have Sandra Leticia, your group, Sandra Leticia, do you remember? Uh, three, según recuerdo. Okay, but tell me your partners. Sandra Leticia. Uh, three teacher. ¿Quiénes eran sus compañeros? Um, es que no me recuerdo muy bien. And I told you, okay, I'm going to assign some other partners. Creo que es donde estaba uh, Okay, Sandra, Amen. Leticia, Mirna. Marina Yancy and Marian Rodriguez. You go to that group. And in group number five, Brandon, Claudia Maria, Darío, Stephanie, and Pablo. Okay? So you go to those groups and that's it. I'm going to open and remember now you're going to write the paragraph. Is that okay? Yes? Yes. Okay. I'm going to open the groups. I sent you the invitation right now. Let's continue with that. 
Join your groups, please. Join your groups. Pablo, Marianne, and Mirna Lisset, join your groups. Go to your groups, Celia. Are these the ones? Son ustedes quienes? Carla, Nelson, Claudia Maria, Norma, and Concepcion, yes. Yes, Remember the yes. paragraph is about a problem with the, with a machinery, okay? Bye, because mm -hmm. he's asking for help. Bye. Hello. Hello, Luis Miguel, Nelly, and Atilio. Hello. Okay, tell me, how can I help you? Yes. 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 Es lo, del, lo de la maquinaria, ¿verdad? Los problemas. Yes, the paragraph. The paragraph. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue with that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. oh, with that yeah. part that we It's didn't that... finish yesterday. This one, exercise three. As a group, sí. you're going to write a short paragraph about the common issues with machinery at your workplace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ahorita voy a mandar al chat lo que hicimos ayer. Este, okay. Solamente que yo voy a estar de oyente porque estoy en otra clase. Pero yeah. apagarlo, papi. Okay, who is missing here, or are all the people here? Todos están acá o faltó alguien? Um, no, todos estamos. Estamos. Todos. Tony, Wendy, Josué y Celia Cristina. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Continue with your work. Bye. 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 All your partners are here? Todos los yes. compañeros están yes. aquí. Okay, no problem. Yes. Ahí hay que quitarle la segunda machine. Mm -hmm. Ajá, porque dice que hay una máquina que es usada para. Sí. Hello, class. Sandra Leticia, your Hello, partners. Teacher. ¿Quiénes fueron sus compañeros ayer? ¿Se recuerda? No, teacher. Mm -hmm. No me recuerdo. Más como mi dolorcito de cabeza que me no. tengo ahorita. Yeah. No me voy a acordar. Ya. Yeah. <risa> Yo me acordaba que era con Atilio, pero quizás no. Quizás no, ¿verdad? Sí, porque sí, no les recuerdo, acabo de preguntar y ellos dicen que, que sí. Lo que sucede es que ustedes solo son dos y los demás equipos tienen... Varios, entonces, y Marina Yancy, ¿con quién trabajo Marina Yancy? Sí, ya, fíjese que yo el día de ayer no me pude conectar. Así es cierto. Entonces, Tengo no ausente. sé. Vaya, entonces la, la, lo vamos a, la, la voy a unir a otros equipos por este momento, ¿ok? Porque sí, solo ustedes dos están en, en este equipo. Veamos. Es que como ya iniciaron el trabajo ayer. Ok. Sandra Leticia, go to group number three. Okay, sí, with, um, al equipo número tres, Sandra Leticia, le voy a, envi a enviar la invitación. Es el okay. equipo de Atilio. Okay. ok. Group number three. Y también a usted, Marina Yans. Ok. La voy a enviar a ese equipo, ¿le parece? Al dos, envíeme. Al dos, no, no porque ahí tengo cinco personas. Ah, no pueden okay. haber tres, sí. En el tres tenía tres personas y con Sandra ya son cuatro. Y en el equipo cinco tengo cuatro personas. Es para equilibrarlos, pues, ¿verdad? Porque okay. no podían estar ustedes dos nada más y los otros con cuatro o con cinco, como en el equipo uno, ¿sí? Vaya, uh -huh. uno, dos, tres. En el uno tengo cuatro, en el dos tengo cinco, en el tres tengo cuatro y cuatro en el cinco. Entonces, eh, 
Darío, este, ah. Sí, es que los dos primeros están saturados de gente. Dos, cuatro, dos, cuatro. Al mismo equipo tres la voy a enviar, ¿ok? Porque ahí ya tienen un avance. Pero ayer sí se conectó, ¿verdad, Marina Yancy? No, ah, ayer. no, o sea, ayer fue que no se pudo conectar. Ajá, hoy okay. sí. Ok, Mire, go to group. Sí. Bueno, no, sino después. No, dígame ya, antes que, la, que vayamos es, a otro grupo. Respecto a los, es que vi que mandaron los porcentajes de asistencia. Sí, sí, así es. Y eh, yo tengo 55, no sé si he llegado al 80. Ya no tiene que faltar. Lo que, no, sucede es que, que mire, lo que sucede es que, mire, yo les digo, cuando están en el main session room como listeners, tienen que unirse a los equipos, aunque uh -huh. sea como listener, porque si usted se queda en el main session room, classroom no la cuenta, porque usted no se ha movilizado y contabiliza a las personas que están en los equipos, ¿sí? Ah, entiendo. Entonces, todo eso se lo descuentan, aunque usted esté conectada, yo se lo digo diciendo, una se una se pero no se une, ¿verdad?, entonces, ahí es donde viene el descuento. Ustedes dicen, no, si yo me uno, ¿y por qué? Porque como no se movilizan todo ese tiempo los trabajos en equipo, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, uh -huh. yo les digo, aunque ustedes estén como listener, tienen que agregarse a un equipo. Ok. Ok. okay. Go to group number three. I sent you the invitation. Todavía estoy recibiendo por Hello class, listen Here you are Atilio Ernesto, Luis Miguel Nelly Lily Betts Hello. Sandra Leticia and Marina Yancy Because these two girls were Only the two of them in one group Okay, so maybe they can help you In some way Let's see yeah. The most common issues with machinery at my workplace is the printer because it doesn't connect with my laptop and also this app, the hair, and it makes strange noises. Very good. And then you say that. Eso me estresa, yeah? Yes. Okay. And then you are using the idioms. Very well. Yeah, actually, I, I asked for that yesterday. Okay. We can use the Yeah, idioms. obviously, you have to put into practice the idioms. Okay. okay. See you. Bye. See you. Tilo. Yes. Subí un poquito la página. O sea, bajarlo a la parte de... Con mi pe period. Como solo period. Period. For a period. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Of two hours. Or two hours. Of. 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 Instead of four, of two hours. May I read it? Oh. May oh. I read it, class? ¿Puedo leerlo? Yes. yes okay, teacher. here we go. In Norma's workplace, one of the machines that is used is a pressure and it makes a strange noise pressure. What is it? Presión. Es una presión, esa es una máquina. Una máquina hidráulica de presión. Ah, uh, is a pressure hydraulic. Is a pressure hydraulic. Okay. Uh -huh. It's a pressure hydraulic. Uh, and it makes a strange noise when it is working. Period. Acá punto, ¿verdad? Period. After working, period. In capital letter with what? What we do is, is call, what we do is to call, is to call, or is call the technician to have it repaired in a short time because it is necessary for the performance of the work. Mm, for, what do you mean for the performance of the work? Um, eh, que es necesaria para la... 
para el desarrollo, para el desarrollo del trabajo. Del trabajo. Ah, no, el performance trabajo. es eh, de los empleados. Entonces sería, because it is necessary for the uh, development of the work, para el desarrollo del trabajo, development ah, of, the, of the work. The machine is used to wash the parking lot and is done under pressure. Oh, oh. the technician recommends don't, for, no, don't forget, no. The technician recommends not to forget, not to forget, not to forget to change the oil every three months and don't use it for a long period. No, acá no usarla por un periodo largo de dos horas o más de dos horas. Cada dos horas. ¿Verdad, Norma? Sí, dos horas. Nada más. Pero lo que queremos decir ah, es no entonces, utilizarla por mucho tiempo, solamente por tiempo. un periodo de Que horas. no sea de más de dos horas. Ok. Ajá. And not to use it. Acá. And not, yes. And not, not to no. use it. Yeah. To use it. Entonces, ajá, iría use it. Ok. Eliminate, don't use. Don't. Ok. To use it for for a long time for a long time for a long time uh -huh. for a long time uh -huh. for a long time for a long time uh -huh. comma uh -huh. only for a period of two hours only for a period of two hours and that's it okay, okay very well congratulations Now practice and decide who's going to share with the class, okay? Okay. Okay, okay very well. Hola, teacher. Hello, are you done? Uh, let me see. Uh, the paragraph? May I see the paragraph? No, lo que pasa es que estaba, yo, yo tengo dos días de no estar en la clase, teacher, y ahora he logrado entonces, conectarme, entonces no, 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 y me conecté 15 minutos tarde, entonces. Ah, ok. Uh, en, lo estamos trabajando, teacher, porque medio le recopilé un poco cómo estábamos. Ok. Ok, ok. Así que vamos, ya en un momento lo vamos a terminar. Ok, great. Sí, okay. yo. Uh, sí, teacher. Yes. This, this, land, this uh, unit, no, not the unit. Um, then the group number five is the last of the basic level or, or I have two more Uh, levels in the in the basic oh, yeah. one more because one the more. yeah because it is 18 courses six 18 six courses. and six six for the basic six for the intermediate and six for the advanced okay we need some one more to advance at the intermediate level yeah Okay, may I check out? In our office, the most common issue, issue, not issues, because you have the verb to be, is. The most common issue is, the most common issue is. <coughs> Teacher, can you move me from the main session to the group number one, please? I. I'm right now entering my what? computer. Okay, yeah, that is what I'm going to do right now. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so here, in our office, the most common issue is, uh, okay, I was reading. <laughs> And then we don't listen to you because of the of the microphone, Tony.
Thank you. Thank you for. Okay, great. <laughs> now Celia is sharing the, the screen, right? Yes, 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 yes. I yes, thought it was you, but it here. Is, it, it should be sufficient by computer. the printer and the paper can't. The situation is stressed. No. The situation stresses me out. Stresses me out. The situation stresses me out. Okay. Is the is the pronoun? Stress no stress no stresses me out because stress. it is a habit, yeah. In present ah, simple. It's not in the past, it's in the no. past. Uh -huh, present. It stresses me out. Eliminate D and E. Okay, in your office the most common thing stresses E S E S. Write an E and an S, stresses me out. Mm -hmm. Because the subject is the situation, third person singular, it. Continuous air conditioning failure have. Have me we, with out. No, but you have we. I have we waited out. Have, no, remember, this is present perfect. Uh, continuous air conditioning failures have wiped, have, no, have is okay, have wiped out the staff, probably, because it is not only you, okay. yeah? Okay. Have wiped out the staff, double F, staff. Okay, very well. It's no staff, double F, equipo. The okay. crew, staff, double F. Okay, that's it. Usted por momento se queda congelada. Ajá, ajá. Ajá. Y estoy en la par del modo de tengo que cambiar mi compañía definitivamente. Mm, and yes. Eso es de ti, de veras, qué cámara. Sí, ya la <risa> Ok, ok, continue. You have uh, okay. two more minutes, ok, two more minutes. Ok. Mm -hmm. Finish. And not to right. Ah, okay. Time, only for a period of two hours. Mirna, Mirna, you said where was she? In two minutes, we get started, okay? F T T R U C K. Ajá, uh -huh. sí, sí, sí. Drop. For uh -huh. is used for. ¿Para qué? Para levantar carga, man. Uh -huh. Sí. Yeah. Uh -huh. Lift. Lifting. 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 Load. O. Oh. Ajá, uh -huh. load. A una altura de que, o, o aquí, ¿qué problema puede? Lo, lo, le ponemos un punto aquí y le ponemos aquí el detalle de eh, un problema común que te haya dado un día. No monta carga, mire que uh -huh. yo estoy en seguridad industrial y no sé qué. What we do is to call the technician to have it prepared in a short time because it is necessary for the development of the work. The machine is used to wash the parking lot and is done under pressure. The technician recommends not to forget to change the oil every three months and not to use it for a long time, only for a period of two hours. Pressure, <laughs> <laughs> pressure and recommends. Recommends, ¿verdad? 
development. Uh, development. Recommend. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, development or the de oh, development. 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 Okay. Is recommends or recommends? Recommends because it is third person singular. The technician recommends. Okay. Plural. Recommend. Recommend. No plural. No es plural. Es tercera es persona de singular. Tercera persona. Tercera presente simple, se le agrega S. Ok. Ok, ok. No, no sé si a ustedes no. le pasa. A mí sí me ha pasado un par de veces. Uy. Se cae. Se cae Uy. contra la pared, pero... Hello, listen. Other frequent, frequently, frequently problem, no? Frequent problem. Porque si no sería otro problema frecuentemente es mi, no. Other frequent. Otro problema frecuente. Other frequent problem. Frequent problem is my cell phone staff. El teléfono del trabajo. El teléfono del trabajo. Ajá. Ajá. The screen is constantly breaking. And I don't know why. I'm stressed out with this problem. With you have to check it. The the age go uh -huh. yes very well with this problem. Then that's it, I think. Um, or if you want to add more. Okay, ya estamos para aquí. A gusto del que queríamos hablar de qué otra cosa del fax del. No, that's okay. I know you're experts on that. <laughs> okay. Porque no nos han puesto para el mundial. Oh, so sad for you. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Now that's... we're going to get back to the uh, main session room. Okay. So you can read it because remember, this is the feedback of what okay. you did yesterday. Thank you so much for your active participation. You're welcome. When everybody returns, I'm going to call your names to take the first attendance because you were working very hard, very focused. Congrats. Okay, here we go. I need you to uh, activate your cameras if it's possible and answer when I call your names. Atilio Ernesto. Atilio. Yes, present, teacher. Thank you. Brandon. Brandon, are you here? Present. Present, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria. Present. Great Concepcion. Present. Darío. Present. Great. Stephanie Carranza. Present. Thank you, Ms. Stephanie. Josue. Josue was here. What happened? Josue, with a, your microphone is open, Josue, but we don't listen to you. Thank you. No, the microphone is open. Maybe he's having a problem with the with the microphone. I don't know. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you. Mariana Scarlett. 
Mariana Scarlett Rodríguez. She doesn't answer. She's not available. Marina Yancy. Present. Thank you. Mirna Lisset. Mirna Lisset. Hello, Mirna Lisset, open your microphone. Nelly. Hello, Present. Nelly. Thank you, Miss. Nelly. Nelson. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Norma. Pablo. Mm -hmm. Pablo was here. Okay. Via chat. Uh, Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Wendy Maricela. Wendy, Wendy was in any group. Wendy, no, right. Mm. Carla Sofia. Present. Thank you, Miss Carla. Celia. Present now, teacher. Okay, now we listen perfectly to you, Miss Celia. Sí, okay, class. Conexión. <laughs> okay. But... Uh, let me see. Wendy came and the connectivity sent her out. She's trying to connect, I think, right now. Luis Miguel, will you say? Acaba de entrar Wendy. Yeah. Wendy, where are you? Yeah, because she was here. Okay, great. So class, now it is the time for you to be the stars. Group number one, who's going to share with the class the paragraph and read it. <clears throat> okay, come on class. We have too many people in group number one, Celia Cristina, Tony. Tony va a compartir porque ah, okay. no Okay, because of the problem. We have Celia Cristina, Josué, Tony. Okay. Who's <coughs> going to read? Um, um, every point of separation is uh, the next to the other um, partner. Please start Celia and then Wendy, if it's possible, uh, Josué too. In our office, the most common issues is occasioned with the printer and the paper jams. Ready? No veo nada. Está cargando. Sí, está Tony. Entonces, para mí, está Wendy. This situation is stresses me out. Continuous or I conditional parts have we without the staff. Other frequent problem is my cell phone staff. The screen is constantly breaking and I don't know why. I am stressed out with these problems. Okay. Okay, hold it, hold it here. There is one thing that I want to suggest. In our office, the most common issue, issue is occasionally, yeah. Is occasioned by the printer and the paper jams. The situation stresses me out, no is. Stresses me out. Okay. Continuous air conditioning failures have. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. Very well done. Great. Okay. Congratulations. Okay. okay. Thank Great. you. Now yeah. let's listen. In the next team, we have Claudia, Concepcion Maria, Carla, 
Nelson and Norma. In Norma's workplace, one of the machine that is used is a pressure hydraulic and it make a strange noise when it is working. What we do is to call the technician to have it repaired in a short time because it is necessary for the development of the work. The machine is used to wash the parking lot and is done under pressure. The technician recommends not to forget to change the oil every three months and not to use it for a long time, only for a period of two hours. Thank you so much. Very well done. Do we have another group? <clears throat> Is there another group? Uh, Luis Miguel, Marina Jansi, Nelly, and Sandra, do you have a paragraph? Me? Y yes. Ah, okay. Tiro, lo voy a compartir. WhatsApp. Okay. No. <clears throat> okay, Gabriela Leo. <clears throat> The Come most common issues with machinery at my work is the printer because it doesn't mm -hmm. connect with my laptop and also mm -hmm. says up the head and it makes a strange noise that stress stresses out me. Also, the Wi-Fi doesn't work and the plotter not connect. Also, that stop the project because we need the planes. The internet is still, I am hung in there for that. No. Don't move it. Leave it like that. The same as I did with the first group. The most common issue with machinery at my workplace is so the most common issue. Okay, but in this case, listen, you don't have to say is, you have to say are because you uh, mentioned okay. the Wi-Fi, you mentioned different. Instead of is, you write R. The most common issues with machinery at my workplace are the printer because it doesn't, it doesn't connect with my laptop. And also here, third person singular. And also this is up, okay? You need an S over here. The head and it makes strange noises that stresses me out, stresses. Instead of D, you add an S, stresses me out. Also, the Wi-Fi doesn't work and the plotter does not connect. The plotter does not connect. Also, that stops the projects. Project in English is with J. Okay. Okay. J, J, because we need the plans, the inner, uh, okay, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, because we cannot mention those things because remember it goes to you too. It's my uh -huh. own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the competence. Do yeah. we have another group? Ready? No clap uh, for us. Mm? <laughs> Oh, yes, an applause for you, especially for the last part, says uh, Tony. The last part is the best, says Tony. Okay, class, very well done. Thank you. And the other group, uh, you know, some of them had problems yesterday with the connectivity, so we're going to go over. Should, listen. You should finish your assignments in the platform. Yes, you should. You shouldn't be absent in class in the next four classes because of the attendance, right? I gave you an example with should and shouldn't because this is the topic for today, but you're going to be 
given advices with should, okay? And right now here, we move to what we're going to continue working with. Okay, this is great. And here we go, okay? How to use should. Use the moral verb should for strong advice and recommendation. That is why I said should, and my example was associated to your performance in the platform because it is mandatory, a strong advice. And I told you about the attendance. You shouldn't be absent in the next classes because of the attendance that is mandatory for some of you in order to get the required percentage. A strong, strong advice. We use the following structure. Subject should the verb in the base form and the complement. In affirmative statements, it goes like this. You should wear a helmet inside the factory. Do you remember? In unit two, I think. We should be on time every day. So these are affirmative, now negatives. Employees shouldn't smoke in the facilities. We should not forget to wear the uniform because it is mandatory, it is an obligation. So we use should and the base form of the verb affirmative. In negative, should not or shouldn't and the base form of the verb. Right now, what are you going to do, class? Use should to write sentences about the policies in your workplace using the words in parentheses. But this is personal because every institution has or every company has its own policies. Esto es personal, lo van a hacer individual porque cada institución, cada compañía, cada empresa tiene sus políticas internas, yes? Sometimes there is a coincidence. Ah, okay, we have a dressing code. We must wear a uniform or we must wear um, formal clothes because there is a dressing code. But in some other places, no, there is no dressing code. And no problem. Like in many call centers, there's no dressing code, right? So you should to write sentences about the policies in your work for, in your workplace using the words in parentheses. My schedule, for instance, in number one, what could we say? In my case, okay, you should be always on time. This is in my company, okay? In the company that I work for. Because when I am not on time, the students start, where's the teacher? Where's the teacher? Teacher, your internet or whatever in the classes online, okay? This is in my company. Mm -hmm. Or you shouldn't be late. It could be if you want to write it in negative. Okay, so you write uh, the dress code, attend trainings, asistir a, lo, a las capacitaciones, a los entrenamientos, a sleeping work hours, yeah? So let's write it and you decide if it is affirmative or negative, the structure, because depends, because I remember that in some groups, they were saying that uh, some people, that you are allowed to sleep in, in in the company, but I don't know if in the work hours or only in your break, in your free time. Okay, when you are done, you let me know so we double check to make sure that they are in the correct word order. Follow for affirmative and negative the correct word order here, okay? And you have here the pattern subject, should, verb in the base form and complement or negative, not, or the contraction.
finish class. Okay, two more minutes. Is correct uh, when I say you should not forget my dress code. Uh, no, 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 you, you should, code, you should uh -huh. not forget, forget your dress code. code. Yeah. Or the dress code. Or the, or the dress code. Uh -huh. The dress code. Uh -huh. More general, the dress code. Mm -hmm. Teacher, can I say the personal show dress, the shirt with logo, with Claro logo? But yeah. if it is a shirt with Claro logo, it's a dressing code. It is like a uniform. Yes. The, the, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. But uh, we have different uh, these shirts with, with Claro logo. Something is uh, some very formal, uh, like. Um, Ah, so you Polo, have uh, t shirts and Capri. Uh, maybe different, different uh -huh, models, different right? styles. Different. Uh -huh, exactly. Uh huh, yeah. It's necessary always uh, the, the, the logo. logo. Uh, -huh. uh huh. Okay, that's okay. Thanks. Okay.
Now, are you ready? Okay, not yet. You shall attend training. We shall not sleep in work hours. Okay, in your company. That's okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Great. Uh, does anybody have any negative uh, sentence over here? Only you should not. You shouldn't sleep in work hours, right? You should yeah. attend training and you should. You should respect the dress code. The dress code, okay, very well. The last oh. one probably tonifying. Mm -hmm. The last one is sleeping work hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay now listen the next activity goes like this because you work in different companies now you're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms one of you is the ceo of the company another partner is the human resources manager the other people in the group okay in the breakout groups is the staff of the uh, human resources department. But you are going to do the following. You are in charge right now of creating or modifying the policies, uh, the policies of your company. So you have to write to design a list of policies that uh, your employees must attach to in the company, ¿ya? Van a crear un listado de las políticas institucionales a las cuales los empleados se tienen que apegar, Yes. One of you is going to be the CEO, so it is the leader, the team leader. The other one is the uh, human resources manager. Otro compañero o compañera es el jefe de recursos humanos. And the other people in the group y los otros integrantes del equipo are the staff of the human resources department. Son el equipo o los empleados en el departamento de recursos humanos. So you are now creating a list of policies that the employees must attach to that they have to follow. Tienen que crear un listado de políticas institucionales a las cuales se tienen que apegar los empleados. Later, you are going to share it, okay? You can use some of the policies that you have in your different companies and you discuss and later you present it here to the, to the class. Is that okay? Yes? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, <laughs> yes, you use your, uh, yeah, but you consider the ones in the, in the different companies, okay? So are you okay with the distribution in the different groups or do you want the platform to, to organize? No, teacher, the I like my team. <laughs> okay, the here we group. go. Okay, well, here we go. Too. Okay, here we go. I'm sharing right now the invitation. Go to your groups. Atilio, tell me the names of your partners. Luis Miguel. Okay, okay, group Sandra. number three. Okay, I'm sending you right yes. now, group number three. Here we go, okay, I sent it to you. Join your groups, please. Join the different groups.
Marina Jansi, we need you in your group. Mirna Lisset, go to your group. Marina Jansi, Mirna Lisset, and Marianne Rodriguez. Marianne Scarlett, go to your group. Please. Mirna Lisset, join your group. Mirna Lisset, your group is number five. Mirna Lisset, your group is number five. Okay, girls, both of you are in group number five. Join, please. Okay. Va a compartir usted, ¿eh? Si quiere, sí, con gusto. <coughs> Teacher, solo para estar alineados. CEO más recursos humanos y los demás somos staff. ¿eh? Los demás somos sí. el pueblo. Sí. You can, you can uh, be the secretary. Or the, <laughs> yeah, or the or the or the advisor of the CEO or the advisor of the of the manager, yeah. Okay. No, está bien. Me siento bien de secretario. Okay. <laughs> Continue. Bye. Ah, pues voy a compartir desde el Word. Eh. Employee, children. Ajá, teacher, una consulta, tenemos una, una consulta. Okay. Las políticas, las políticas que vamos a crear, uh -huh. tiene que llevar la palabra should, o no necesariamente. ¿Cuál palabra? Should. Should. Should and mm. shouldn't, ya, yeah, porque mm. es lo que ellos deben y no deben hacer, mm. lo que se debe hacer y no se debe hacer. Uh -huh. Okay. Por eso son okay. políticas o regulations, regulations or policies, okay, institutional policies. Okay. 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 Thank you. <coughs> Smoke, creo que sería la. No, no. Gracias, no sé de qué. <laughs> Son otras clases. ¿Cómo? Michael. 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 Show the show no word. ¿Cómo sería, teacher, si yo digo the employees show children's word? More, eh, si los empleados no deben de trabajar más de ocho horas. Ok, the employees shouldn't work more than eight hours. So more it than means eight hours. Yeah. More than eight hours. So it means that they uh, they will never have a, a, or make over time. Nunca van a tener tiempo extra. Nunca van a hacer horas extra. Ok. In human resource, sería, ¿verdad? Human, human resource. Human resources. Si no van a trabajar más de ocho horas, ahí deja usted cerrada la posibilidad de pagarles horas extra. ¿Ya? Ok. Ok. Resources. 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 ¿Cómo se escribe resource? Okay, I'm going to write it in the chat here. Right. Tengo una laguna mental. Okay, I sent it to you. Thank you. Okay, my pleasure. Human resource. Resources. Human resources. Yes. Mm -hmm. They should. Nos orienta, teacher, si vamos bien así. They, they should. should eh, okay. They should always wear the uniform. They should always. Always. Uh, always wear, not use, wear. Always 
wear. Use. No, de. use no. Usted no usa el uniforme en inglés. You wear, porque usted lo viste, no lo usa, ¿verdad? Ok. You should always wear the uniform during the working day. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't. What is this? They shouldn't. Uh, ¿Alguna política en la constancia? Fumar, smoke. Eh, sí, smoke. Inside. Is it allowed to smoke inside of the facilities? No. Uh -huh. So you shouldn't, uh, they shouldn't smoke in the Pero facilities. They shouldn't smoke in the facilities. Okay, dentro de las instalaciones. Okay. Otra, algo otra política. Uh, Vamos a usar we aquí. Nos vamos a incluir. We should. Tell me if you can listen to my audio. Should use. Always use. Always use. A, el casco es hard hat, creo. También. ¿Qué es eso de hard hat? Casco. No, eso es helmet. Ah, ok. Y, y no es use es wear. Todo lo que va puesto es wear. Sí, wear. I am okay. wearing my eyeglasses. Okay. I am wearing my ring, my okay. earrings, okay? ¿Cuál otra podría ser? En una de política de mi empresa es algo así, va que nosotros nos revisan toditos los días. ¿Le Desde revisan el, el bolso? Todo, me revisan color de calcetín, zapato, ropa interior, todo. ¿En where do you work? Al mapa se llama lo de almacenes bomba. Ah, oh, because of me, miss, so you should be, you know, in shape because you, yeah, well, you borrow every single day. Uh, no, I wouldn't be uh, working there. No, no a nosotros sí. Also, a Brandon. Nosotros, a nosotros solo el bolsón nada más. Ah, oh, aquí because of the beverage. Aquí son bien ah. estrictos, estrictos en eso. Ya, yeah, because of the, of, the, of, the, of the nature of the company, yes. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Um, uh, they must, they should be, they should be checked in their personal belongings and clothes. Personal belongings and clothes. They should be checked. ED. Checked. Check. Revisados. No checked. ED en el verbo. Uh, there, uh, if, uh, they uh, should be checked. Ok, ya es un segundo uh -huh. verbo. Uh -huh. They should be checked. Mm -hmm. in, their, in their personal belongings. Their. Personal belongings, belongings, belongings with one G, belongings. Mm -hmm. Es, and clothes, sus efectos personales, verdad, y su ropa, y su vestir, and clothes. <laughs> 
Ok. Ok. Vamos a ver. For uh, administ administrative. Se le cree. Oh, oh. Donde dice short en la, en la cuatro está un poco day. mal escrito. Day. Ah, day. Acá. De Ajá, en should. Uh -huh. Check out the spelling should. Ok, ok, continue. Okay. Very well. Política de la administración. Sería así. Uh -huh. hey, este, Se recuerdan lo que les dije, que en inglés no usamos ropa ni prendas. You wear, you wear a helmet. You wear earrings, you wear eyeglasses, you wear a ring, you wear a blouse, you wear a pair of shoes, you wear a pair of gloves. Sería, wear, no, you should wear the uniform. The uniform, you should okay. wear the uniform. Mm -hmm. Ahí en la cuatro creo que también, no sé, revisen bien donde han escrito use, porque en español... Ah, es... ah no, no. No, porque lo traemos pues en inglés. Por eso. Es que hicimos la lluvia de ideas primero, perdón. Ah, Entonces, ok. ¿de qué, de, qué íbamos, de, ¿De qué íbamos a hablar? Entonces, por eso le estoy marcando nada más en naranja la que ya hicimos. Ajá, ajá. We should, we should use the customer information in appropriate form. Nosotros deberíamos de utilizar la información del cliente de manera adecuada. Pues le dimos mucha vuelta. Solo la cuatro hemos pasado, la, la, la hemos ya explicado en inglés. Recuerden que todas ellas deben llevar should o shouldn't. Ajá. They sí, sí, sí. should or they shouldn't, ok. Uh -huh. Pero esta, esta es la, la única que hemos pasado ahorita al inglés. We should use the customer information in a in appropriate way or we should use the customer's information in a discretional way. Con discreción. Uh -huh. Discretional way, con discreción, a discreción. A, a discreción es para los diferentes objetivos, pero solo para lo que, ¿verdad? Discretional, Discretional way. Cumplir código de trabajo en equipo. They should work in teams. They should use... Uh, no he puesto ninguna negativa, sí. alguna le vamos a dar vuelta, solo estábamos ah, sí, trabajo. No, aquí. si solo son positivas está bien. Cumplimiento está bien, laborales según sí. mí, cumplir código de trabajo y contratación. No, mire, cumplir código de trabajo y contratación, eso, el código de trabajo es para la compañía. Ah. Ajá. Y la, y la contratación la hace la compañía. De recursos humanos. Ajá, ustedes, recursos humanos, no los empleados, y acá son las políticas para los empleados, no de ustedes, porque ustedes tienen el código también, ¿verdad? Institucional, sí. que ya Todo lo tiene el Ministerio todo. de Trabajo, correcto. Ajá, entonces acá sería MIT de MIT de contract, maybe number nine, MIT, porque es. ¿Verdad? Cumplir. Meet the contract. The hiring contract. Um, meet the hiring contract. Uh, what? Agreements. Son los acuerdos que se firman, ¿verdad? En el contrato, uh -huh. ¿sí o no? Okay. Sí. Meet the 
hiring contract agreements. Agreements. Eliminate that G. Okay. Hiring, eliminate the A. The A is extra. Hiring okay. contract okay. agreements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You no, sorry, yeah. should meet the hiring contract agreements. Meet the hiring contract agreements. Yeah. Porque es los empleados. Esto, ustedes el, 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 el reglamento, digamos, o las políticas internas que debe cumplir el empleado. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ya le puse la. The hiring contract agreements. Así Miren, es. y la número 10 no es parecida a la número 1. Creo que sí. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok, respect the, respect the schedules. Ya se la, te la, se la puse en el chat, eh, Tony. Ay, chispas. Gracias. Ok, see you. Thanks. Okay. Where am I? Inside. Inside. Inside, inside the company. Uh -huh. Ahí la mandé. It is mandatory that all employees should wear a mask. Uh -huh. The employees should wear a mask. The employees should work 12 hours. Hours. The employees shouldn't work more, more than eight hours. In human resource, doesn't pay extra hours. Yes, they should work. We need to increase produce. Miren, y que hicieron conversación que no es un reglamento el que están haciendo, pues. Un listado, porque son las políticas las que están creando. Pero ahí van en medio, pero ahí okay. lo vamos a ver la conversación. No, 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 solo las leen y no leen lo, 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 así como está. The employees shouldn't work more than eight hours in human resources that's in pay. Okay, so more than eight hours. Human resources doesn't pay extra hours because human resources doesn't pay extra hours. In extra hours, no overtime. Overtime is better than extra hours. Overtime uh, is the tiempo extra. In the last one, we we the right we should demand overtime. You should wear a helmet inside the factory. Please find one and uh, es que no sé por qué están haciendo conversación. <laughs> you should wear a helmet inside the factory. Entonces regresamos. Solo vaya, no, no, no. Este borrar Luis el primero. ¿Saben qué? Déjenlo ahí. Y abajo copian y pegan solamente las, las, las políticas, ¿sí? Okay. Porque tal vez más adelante pueden utilizar esto como insumo, ¿de acuerdo? Va. Ok, este, vaya Va. a copiar uh -huh. de employees should work more than eight hours. Solo eso. Ajá, este, correcto. Eso no, eso no, lo de abajo, dile. Only the employees sale. should work more than eight hours. Va, ah, esa es la primera, en la primera política institucional. Va, dale, no, pero copialo hasta abajo, Atilio. Después, Después de, de la eso. conversación, Ajá. Pues, no, es copiar y pegar. Ajá. Ajá, va, y ahora. Copiar, ah, ok, that's it. In, uh -huh. in okay, human resource doesn't paint extra hour. Pero no, ahí está, doesn't paint overtime. Y Yuma. No, 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 dale. In human resources. Notification uh, to the employees. Employees, um, 
también no sé cómo se diga cuando llegan como personas de visita al trabajo. ¿Cómo se le dice? Uh, they should require identification to the employees. ¿Y el siguiente cuál dijo que era? Visitors. Ah, business, business visitors. They should uh, require require uh, do it. Uh -huh. Or ID. Okay, ID. Uh, to the business visitors. 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 Okay. Mm, y podría ser una política tener capacitación para el uso de extintores también de armas o uh, ya yeah. they should they should have hold they should hold what is the meaning of hold tener pero como es hold que solo no toda la gente la tiene uh -huh. They should hold H O L D. H O L D. Hold a ah, de, de sostener. Ajá, de tener. They should hold. Okay. Um, de eh, qué dijimos que era? <laughs> a, a weapons, a weapons, de, a de weapons pro... license. Uh, okay. A weapons license. Uh, weapon license porque oh, es licencia okay. ya yeah. uh -huh. license uh -huh. weapon uh -huh. qué significa armas armas Ar armas uh -huh. weapon uh -huh. license one more one more and then you are over okay one more or or that's okay no, no, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, now practice reading them because later you're going to share in the main session room, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, great. Excellent. Produce, produce. Recycle. Recycle. Reduce, uh, reuse, re uh, reduce, reuse. And recycle. Así sería. Solo que recycle creo que lleva la. Recycling. Lleva... Recycling. Uh -huh. Pero aquí es reciclando. No sé. Reciclar. Reciclar. Este estaría bien así. Reduce. Uh -huh. Okay, here because according to keep the, you know, decimal, reduce, reduce and recycle. Porque para la armonía de los tres, pero se, sería reduce, eh, como lo dice Celia también, eh, porque esta cría como nombre o sustantivo, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Y eh, porque lo que ustedes han escrito, you should practice the three R's. Uh, reduce, reduce and recycling eh, sería reciclaje. Porque acá sería reciclar, sería reducir, reusar y reciclar. Si escribe recycle, pero uh -huh. si usamos recycling, deben practicar las tres R, las tres R. Reduce, reducir, reusar y Deben practicar reciclaje. reciclaje también. Se podría hacer. Sí. En ambos días está bien. Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok, de acuerdo. Uh, then, uh, They should teamwork. work in team. They should practice teamwork. Okay. Or they should be team players. In some companies, they call it like that. Team, are you a team player? Yes, I am or no, I'm not. Yeah. 
but that's okay. They should practice teamwork. Sí. Que no estén en los lugares de trabajo, ¿eh? Sí, cabal, que no estén en las áreas de, de, de trabajo. Uh -huh. ¿no? Por eso uh -huh. tienen en el, en, en el lugar donde está el, el coffee station. Finish class. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. I think yes. Okay, so in one minute, we're going to get back. Get ready to share it with the class, okay? Thank you. Okay. You sing. You sing? Okay, you are done. Yes. You sing. La E le falta. Sin N. Uh, cell phone, pero no debería usar el teléfono. Um, Oslet, we should always wear a helmet. They should be checking in their personal belongings and clothes. They should always respect the safari roulette. ¿Cómo se dice esta palabra, Ticha? Safety, safety o safety? Safety, safety. Ah, safety, sorry. Okay, safety. Policies for administrative employees. They should always be on time in the office. They should use the computer for personal tasks. They should be on social network during the working day. Police for security personnel. This short regarding identification to the employers. This short regarding ID to the business visitor. This short hold a um, weapon license. Okay. Weapons license. Okay, weapon. ready? Let's ready. get back because it's time to, to return. Okay, here okay. we go. Oh. Very well, the discussion has been nice. Okay, class, here we go. Now, before we move to the next activity, I'm going to call your names for the second attendance, okay? Here we go. Let's see, Atilio. Present teacher. Thank you, Brandon. Brandon, Brandon. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Claudia Maria. Present. Concepcion. Concepción, where are you? Present, present teacher. Darío, Darío, where are you? I am here, teacher. Great. Stephanie Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Great. Josué. He's a listener today. Juan. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Luis Miguel. Present. Great. Mariana Scarlett. Mariana Scarlett Rodriguez is absent. 
Marina Jansi. Present. Okay. Mirna Lisset. Mirna Lisset. But she was working in, in one of the Nelly. Present. Nelson. Present. Norma. Patricia. Present. Pablo. Pablo present via chat. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Wendy Maricela. Wendy, the microphone. Present teacher. Thank you. Celia Cristina. Celia Cristina, absent. No, that cannot be possible. Carla Sofía. Carla Sofía, absent. I did it on purpose. Lo hice a propósito para ver cómo reaccionaba. Celia. Because sometimes her image gets frozen and since I think since this week, her connectivity has not been so good. So she told me sometimes I don't listen because of the internet. But here mm -hmm. class, here we go. Okay, we are ears to listen to actually Celia's group. Celia, Cristina, Josue, Tony, and Wendy. Begin please sharing. Our policies are not only policies, they are Celia's rules. <laughs> you should respect the schedule. Wendy? You should wear your uniform. All the staff should respect the customers. We should use the customer information in this special way or appropriate way. We should practice the three, reduce, reuse, eat, recycle. And recycle. And recycle. We should practice think work or team player. <laughs> we should make procured use of the company records. Resources. Resources. We to make all the work a high quality. We should meet the hiring contract agreements. We should reconcile the best employees. <laughs> That's all, teacher. That's all, teacher. Thank you so much. Very well done. Great. Now let's listen to the next group. And in the next group, we have Claudia Concepcion, Carla Nelson, and Norma. Uh, Nelson okay. is later. <laughs> OK. So un poquito, por favor. Okay. <clears throat> Our company CEO, CEO Carla Sofia, Human Resource Nelson Orlando, Administration Claudia Maria, Administrative Assistant Concepcion Marina, and Norman Patricia. Um, number one, the employees show not smoke in work hours. Number two, the employee should use an ID during working hours. Number three, employees should be willing to help their colleagues and not waste their colleagues' time. Number four, the employee should not 
have romantic relationship. Ok, nos ayuda nuestra CEO con las otras cuatro. Um, the personal shooting involve money laundering trades. Number six, employees should be should be willing uh, willing collect and not waste their colleagues' time. Employees should attend training special with the company. And number eight, staff should make good use to work tools in care. And number nine, it is mandatory that all employees should wear a mask and help alcohol. Number 10, the employees should wear the uniform properly. 11, the employees' burden should take the day. Y 12, employees should have the right to take 10 minutes breaks in the morning and 10 minutes in the afternoon. Oh, wow, very well for the coffee break. So one thing. In number nine, probably it is mandatory that all employees should wear a face mask and uh, hands, hands sanitizer, okay? Hands sanitizer. And very well done, great. Now, next group. In the next group, we have Atilio, Luis, Marina, mm -hmm. and Nelly. Uh, the claps for the for group number two. Okay, also very good. Hello. 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 Ya te veo, pero The place and not place, Senior Luis Michael. <laughs> CEO Atilio Castillo, Human Resource Sandra, Chef Product Luis. Luis. The employee should work. No, pero esa no era la primera, ¿no? The human resource doesn't pay over time. We shouldn't demand over time. We should wear a helmet inside the factory. You shouldn't smoke in the company. You shouldn't okay. sleep as inside the company car. You should you should wear uniform. You shouldn't to receive gift from partners. The employees must will be caused, but the employees shouldn't use the phone in the factory. The employees should register their income in the morning. Luis. Bosses shall not. Okay, Mr. Templar, just leave it like that, please. Only one suggestion. You. There is one. Uh, hold it. La primera no era. No, sé por qué la... no, 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 but uh, the employees should work 12 hours. <gasps> Human resources doesn't. We shouldn't demand, you should Nine. wear Nine. No, 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 no. You should you shouldn't sleep. You should here, number eight. You shouldn't receive. No to listen, no, because should is a modal auxiliary. And after any modal auxiliary, you don't use the particle to remember that I said, and it is in your manual that you use should plus the verb or shouldn't plus the verb in the base form. Y el verbo en su base nunca usamos después de un modal auxiliary la partícula to, porque ustedes no dice I can to drive. I can drive, okay? But for the rest, great. Very well done. Congrats. La okay. primera no sé por qué se puso, pero era ocho, a, ocho horas. Yes, okay. No, it was it recorded. It is recorded here, black. remember? It is going to be in YouTube. Oh my God, <laughs> comments and haters and all that kind of things were that, okay. And now we have the other team, Brandon, Darío, Stephanie, Marianne, and Pablo. 
Are you ready to share? Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. Company uh -huh. policies. Policies for operative policies. Policies, policies for operative employees. Number one, they should always wear the uniform during the working day. They should smoke in the facilities. We should always wear a helmet. They should be checked in their personal belongings and clothes. They should always respect the safety rules. Next. Policies, policies for administration employees. This show always be on time in the office. This show not use the computers for personal tasks. Uh, number three, this should not be on social networks during the working day. Like you said, Do you want to read the next? Like you said, uh, when they were uh, because... Police for security personnel. This show requir required identif identification the, to the employers. This show required ID to the business visitor. And number two, to show how a weapon listen. It's all weapons license. Probably uh, policies for security personnel with uh, double N E L because personal is that is a personal situation, right? Personnel as a staff, double N E L. Okay, class, very well done. Congrats. Everybody worked very hard. So now let's move to the next activity that we have in here. We have uh, listen to your teacher with the conversation, then practice it with a partner. We have Bruno and Max. And when you finish practicing in the breakout rooms, you are going to complete the questions about the conversation and write the answers. Okay, here we go. Hey, Max, look, I want to know, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too, okay? Now, uh, this conversation is at page 39. You have to practice it. You take turns and you switch roles and later you answer these two questions. Is that okay? Questions about the conversation? The one that you didn't mention. Yo tengo, yo tengo una pregunta aquí. Uh -huh. uh, donde, uh, donde dice, uh, Max, I see another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Of drugs, yeah. Drug. Nobody should do drugs. Do. No, uh -huh. es use. no es use aquí. No, do drugs. That is the, the expression. You shouldn't do drugs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was expecting that. Thank you for asking. Okay, now class, let's move to the breakout rooms. Here we go. Okay, I'm opening. Join your groups and begin practicing, practicing and practicing. And answer the questions. Okay, Josue, go to group number one. Nelson, group number two is yours. Did you receive the invitation? Marina Jansi, go to group number three. And Marianne Rodriguez, join your groups class, okay? Okay. 
aquí para que lo podamos leer. Okay. Yo soy Bruno. Hey Max, look, I want to know what police you have in your company. How are you, Max? No, how are you, Celia? Well, there are many. ¿Cuáles son algunas, algunas políticas en la compañía de Max, Bea? Es eh, solo la, la, practicar la conversación, ¿no? I think so, too. Este, démosle la vuelta ahora. Yo soy Bruno y usted es Max. Ok. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. Where is Brandon? Sí, sí. Okay. I am Bruno Brandon Max. Max. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company, for example. Employees show we are uniform or wise. Well, in my company, you shall be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And show you notify your superiors if you do so time wrong. Yes, you show. I see. Another policy policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody show do drugs. Teacher, already speak from also have. Also have. Also have. Or also have or also have. Mm -hmm. Also have. Thank you. We also have that policy in my work too. You should do it. I think so too. Uh, okay. Well, I'll start with Bruno. Yo. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what police you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uh, uniform always. Well, in my company, you should not be left. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Oh, oh, oh it's, 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 it's question. And should you notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have the policy in my work too. You should do it. I think so, so too. Okay, very well, Miss Stephanie. Uh, are you here? Yes. Hello, Stephanie Sorry? and Darío. Okay, Stephanie, I need you to stay with me after class, okay, for a couple of minutes because it's time to say goodbye. Okay, okay. tomorrow we're going to continue with this activity, okay, class? Okay. Because, okay, here we go. Let's get back. Okay, class, tomorrow we're going to continue. So sorry, but because of the time, okay? But tomorrow you're going to remember the people in your groups so you can continue working with the same staff or maybe me as Cecilia would like to work in another team. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a joke. Miss. 
Let's see, let's wait for the others to return. Okay, class, remember that there are only four more classes. So I need you to be here in order to meet the requirement of the attendance, okay? Because some of you need a lot of minutes. And uh, well, Miss Stephanie is going to stay with me for a while. And for the rest of you, please continue working. Brandon, are you here, Brandon? I, Brandon, you are one of the ones, uno de los estudiantes que necesito que se me pongan al día en la plataforma. Teacher, okay. sorry. Okay. Y otros chicos también. Y hay algunos que, congratulations, because you are done everything, 100%. Y ya saben quién es, ¿verdad? Tienen que trabajar un poquito más. Yo sé que algunos han estado enfermitos, mucho trabajo y todo lo demás, pero tratemos de ponernos al día, ¿ok? Have a good night. Sleep well. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Blessing. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. You see tomorrow. You. Bye. Only Miss Stephanie stays with me. Bye bye. Take care. Me puso la segunda asistencia. Yes, of course. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye, Luis. Bye, Marina Yancy. Bye, Sandra Leticia. Leticia, bye bye. Okay, Miss Stephanie, here we go. Uh, okay, teacher. Vaya, vamos a practicar. Pero antes, déjeme preguntarle si hay algún tema con el que tenga problema y le pueda reforzar, Miss. Um, con oh. lo del simple, pasado simple. El pasado simple o el pasado perfecto. Pasado es que, simple. Es que tuve, estaba en la plataforma, entonces tuve una tarea que se me dificultó un poco. ¿Cuál fue? Que ahorita le compruebo, solo voy a revisar. Okay, bye. Uh -huh. Ya voy, teacher. Ok, no problem. Me comparte si gusta. Ah, ok, que ni le encuentro. Mm. Ah, fue lo, del... <ríe> fue lo, del, lo del pasado simple, teacher, pero no la puedo compartir. ¿En qué, en qué unidad está? ¿En qué es, en, en, es en la tarea, como en la tarea 14. Eh, sería entonces en, en la unidad 3, ¿verdad? Pero sí. es el pasado simple o el pasado perfecto. Por eso le pregunto, porque sí. lo que hemos estado viendo es el pasado perfecto. En el la unidad pasado 3. perfecto, es, es que lo Bye. tengo en el Ajá. teléfono y ahorita estoy en la computadora. Ah. Entonces... Va, entonces es el pasado perfecto. Y le comparto para, para ver si es eso, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Acá veamos. Porque ahí usamos los verbos en participio pasado. Uh -huh. Lo único que eh, algunos, lo, por ejemplo, los verbos regulares, eh, se escribe igual y la misma pronunciación para el pasado simple y el pasado eh, participio. Sí, entonces okay. ahí es donde, donde quizás se ha confundido un poquito. Sí, es que... Ahí está, mire, how to use uh -huh. the present perfect. Este, ¿verdad? Sí. Use the present perfect to talk about unfinished actions. Usamos el presente perfecto para hablar sobre acciones o estados que aún no terminan. O, o pueden ser hábitos o rutinas que comenzaron en el pasado, pero que pueden continuar en el presente. Hay, uh, yo les decía que la diferencia entre el pasado simple y el presente perfecto es que el pasado simple ya terminó, no puede continuar. Como dicen, pasado, pasado. ¿okay? Uh -huh. Pero en el presente perfecto, Sí puede haber iniciado una acción en el pasado y continuar en el presente. En el pasado eh, usamos generalmente una frase de tiempo eh, temporal. Si decimos, um, last year I traveled to, to Mexico City, to tell you an example. Uh -huh. El año pasado, el año pasado ya terminó. Ya estamos casi por terminar el año que en el presente estamos, ¿sí? Entonces ya no, ya no puede continuar esa acción. Es más, estoy en mi país, El Salvador. Entonces, ¿cuál es la estructura? Us, usa los verbos 
en, el par, en la forma del participio y el auxiliar have o has. En este caso sería has for the third person singular. Para uh -huh. he, he, it usamos has, ¿verdad? Y vamos a usar acá have para I, you, we. En plural okay. sería. Ajá, o para I o para you. Entonces uh -huh. la estructura es sujeto, el verbo auxiliar que podría ser have or has, dependiendo pues, cuál es el sujeto, ¿verdad? Y el verbo en participio pasado. ¿Cuál es el verbo en, par el verbo en participio pasado? En las listas de verbos usted va a encontrar presente simple, pasado simple y participio pasado. El de la tercera columna es el que usamos en esta estructura, ¿de acuerdo? Ejemplo, I have checked the reports. Checked es el participio pasado, pero se escribe igual y se pronuncia igual el pasado simple, porque es un verbo regular, ¿sí? They have not replaced the battery. Replace es en presente, replaced en pasado, replaced en participio pasado porque es otro verbo regular. Y para convertir esta oración a negativa, solo le eh, agregamos not después del verbo have. En este caso, have no significa tener, sino que es un modal auxiliary. They have not replaced the battery. Ellos no han reemplazado o sustituido la batería. Yes. Y luego yes. tenemos acá, she has explained her situation. Ella ha explicado su situación. Explain es otro verbo regular. Por lo tanto, eh, solo se le agrega la ed. Explain. Es la misma forma para el pasado simple y el participio pasado. Pero como llevamos has como verbo auxiliar, Sabemos que no es pasado, sino que es participio. Y luego el negativo. The team has not had that kind of problems. Fíjese lo curioso acá. Has y had. Has. ¿Por qué? Porque es presente perfecto. Por eso como modo eh, modal auxiliary. Pero tenemos had en participio pasado. Es decir que en este caso has está cumpliendo doble función. Has como auxiliar y had como el verbo principal que es participio pasado. The team has not had that kind of problems. El equipo no ha tenido ese tipo de problemas, ¿sí? O aquel tipo de problemas, ¿de acuerdo? De acuerdo, teacher. En oraciones negativas solamente agregamos not after the auxiliary, después del auxiliar. ¿Se recuerda cuando escribimos estas oraciones? No, yo no estuve en esa clase, entonces mm. eso fue lo que me confundió un poco y a la hora de hacer la tarea. Pues sí, pero hay que ver la clase. Yo se la subo todos los días, ¿verdad? Fue sí. un tiempecito ahí para que no, no les pase eso. Vaya, entonces acá. Le voy a ayudar con la primera y luego vamos a ir construyendo las otras, ¿ok? Decimos, okay. Mario, ¿sería have or has? Ha, el has. Ok, Mario has change, es el verbo, pero como eh, va en participio pasado, le agregamos la D, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Mario has changed the fuse. The fuse. Ok. Y ahí termina la oración. Mire, has changed. Ahora, not. The production stop. ¿Cómo quedaría esta oración? Comencemos. ¿Cuál es el subject? ¿El sujeto de la oración cuál será? Mm, el sujeto sería como el, el stop, si no me equivoco. No, ese verbo. El sujeto Ay, sí. es quien realiza la acción. The production. La the producción. Production. The, the production. production. Has. Has. Porque Have. es tercera persona singular. Sí, sustituimos the production por un pronombre personal. Sería it, ¿verdad? So the production has not. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Stop. Ese verbo va en participio pasado. Has not stopped. Stop. Ok, Stop. la producción no se ha detenido, no ha parado. Now, next one. Our team fix the equipment. Nuestro equipo reparar el, 
nuestro, sí, nuestro equipo, nuestro grupo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Preparar el, el equipo, pero el equipo de maquinaria. Ajá, uh -huh. sería de equipo. Equipment sería. No, el, sí, equipment. El sujeto sería our team, nuestro equipo. Our team sería has or have. Ahí sería has. Ok, has. ¿El verbo cuál es? Fix. Fix. But Fix. Este es regular también. Entonces, regular. Para convertirlo a pasado participio, ¿qué le agregamos? Uh -huh. ¿Qué le agregamos? Le Ok, has fixed el complemento de equipment. De equipment. Ok, de equipment. Very well. Now, Jenny not plug the cords. The subject, el sujeto de la oración. Jenny. Ok, Jenny Help. has, ok, not, has not plugged. Ok, plugged in past participle because it is also regular. Plugged mm -hmm. the cords. Ok. And now here, the secretary. The secretary make enough copies. La secretaria the, hacer suficientes copies. The secretary have, ¿verdad? The secretary has. The past tense and past participle of make. Make. Made. Me. Has Tengo made. Tengo mucho problema con mi pronunciación, teacher. Lo siento. Enough copies. Mire, los verbos en participio pasado son problema para casi todo mundo. ¿Por qué? Porque usualmente nos aprendemos el presente y el pasado. ¿De acuerdo? Ajá. Entonces, my advice is, mi consejo es, si usted se aprende un nuevo verbo, apréndase los tres. Presente simple, pasado simple y participio pasado y así no va a tener problema. ¿Ok? okay. Siempre que vea un verbo y se lo aprenda, entonces los tres. Simple present, simple past, and past participle. And no problem. Y ahí ya se lo aprende de una vez. Pero acá el problema de la mayoría es los verbos en participio pasado. Okay. Contra la tercera columna. Now, the technician check the connector. The technician has checked. The technician has checked the connector. Bye. Mira. Ay, oh, sí, ya me queda bastante. Ok, bastante. ya le quedó más clarito. Y sí, ahora pues. veámoslo en contexto, en la conversación. Mire, acá. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. Ha, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great, I hope he can fix this problem. Vaya, vamos a leer esta conversación una vez y luego se va a atender a su niño. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, you are Luke and I am George. Comienza usted a leer. Sí, permítame, voy a decirle a mi bebé que guarde un poquito de silencio. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? How do you check it? And the cables are plugged? Are plugged. Are plugged. Okay. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance, the replacement, the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. 
I see, by the way, the technical is coming. Great, I hope he can fix this problem. Now repeat after me, I see. I see. By the way. By the way. The technician. The technician. Is coming. Is coming. Okay. Thank you so very much, Miss, for giving me this time. And I hope that I have helped you. Okay. Espero haberle ayudado para clarificar. Mucho, la teacher. Gracias. Okay, great. Have a good night. And good night, teacher. Go to sleep your baby. Happy sleeping. <laughs> Gracias. Okay, happy sleep. Bye bye. See bye. you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care.